नमस्ते मचपुच्छ्रे एफ एम बाट ये मोखरा को पर्यटन नगरी को राजधानी लेक साइड में छु मछपुच्छ्रे एफ एम सुनेर बस्तर संपूर्ण दर्शक बिंदु में नमस्कार आज मस यो व्यक्तित्व हो वहाँ अमेरिकी नागरिक वहाँ को नाम रहे ग्रेबियल एविना वहाँ लकडाउन में लकडाउन भाग के महीना अगड़ी नेपाल आक रहे पोखरा में रहा लकडाउन को बेला में न्यूज हे था पाँन भाई कि लकडाउन में कोरोना को महामारी को बेला में धरल गाड़ो रहे वहाँ के पोखरा का विभिन्न ठाव में राहत दूर थी वहाँ को प्रोजेक्ट रहे थी रज मस बेरसम कुरा वहाँसरा गई रहे सर नमस्ते वेलकम टू आवर प्रोग्राम नमस्ते थैंक यू प्लीज कैन यू योर इंट्रोडक्शन Uh, yes, I'm Gabriel Lavina, mm. and I'm an American traveler here in Nepal. Okay. How how have you feel during lockdown in Nepal? Well, <laughs> I don't think anyone could have prepared for this year. 2020 has been a big surprise all around the world. And, yeah. Uh, but that said, I've been I've been very happy to be here in in Nepal, and um, I'm very glad that I have. My kind hosts and local mm. friends who've made this yeah. extra time yeah. a very, very lovely part of the year. Yeah. How does it uh, feel to be here uh, rather than in the USA and somewhere else? Well, I'm I'm very happy to be in in such a safe and beautiful and calm mm. country as well. I think we've been very lucky in Nepal with our. Yeah. Our case numbers have stayed low compared to many countries. We have a very good recovery rate, and yeah. it feels very safe here, yeah. and that's been lovely. The U.S. right now, we're we're still struggling with this, and I'm yeah. I'm I'm happy actually. I'm quite happy to be in Nepal, and uh, I know in many other places that I might have mm. found myself, it could be worse. Uh, what in inspired you to help others with your food relief project? Well, when When the coronavirus was first becoming quite a problem uh, throughout Europe and the U.S., I, I was seeing news of of, of people fighting in, in supermarkets, fighting in grocery stores over food supplies, and uh, I was really shocked and, and sad to see this. And I thought, you know, this is what's happening in the developed Western countries. Yeah. People are are worried about. Their food supplies and how how much worse might it be here, where I know many people have much much less than than in the West. And I um, I spoke with my my host uh, Narayan Adikari, and we we started to talk about what the situation was like for local people and whether people had enough in their savings, especially daily workers who I I, I knew must need to work every day to bring home income for their for their food or for their rent and. Uh, we began to make this plan. I was, I was very inspired by stories from some of my friends and examples from yeah. some of my friends throughout the world, who launched projects of their own, mm. whether small or large, to support their community. And I, I wanted to try something similar here, but I knew that even in Nepal, we've had a bad year for tourism because of the virus beginning in February. I think many local businesses. Didn't have much income. the 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 spring tourist season was very low here, and so I thought that many of the the power players, the people in the local community who normally would be able to rise and try to help each other in this time, even they were maybe struggling a little bit because of the lower business this year. and And so I thought, you know, perhaps we should try to do something. Yeah. Uh, we right here on the ground. Why not? Mm. And uh, I'm very happy that we did. Okay. Uh. How do you feel to give food relief to others? I feel wonderful. Of course, it's uh, mm -hmm. it's a it's a 
really beautiful feeling to yeah. to try to help other people around us and mm. I'm also just very grateful that I uh, we were in a, the right place at the right time yeah. there's nothing very special about us but we we found ourselves with an opportunity to try to help and mm. and so we did and I think that all the the people who so generously donated yeah, yeah. to our project I think they felt the same way to have some power to give something back and to help other people when yeah. this has been a very difficult time for the whole world and uh, mm. when we're all waiting for for good news to be able to do something good felt yeah, yeah. i think for all of us yeah, very good you, you are from the united states of the america right mm -hmm. you are the, in the you are come to in the nepal and before the lockdown mm -hmm. like uh, have you missed your family <laughs> during lockdown of course yeah it's mm. uh, Again, any, any message for your family? Oh, hey mom, hey dad. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Alexia. Yeah. yeah, of course, I miss you all very much. And um, in, I think it's also, uh, it's a little bit troubling for many travelers because yeah. we don't know when borders will open. We don't know when we'll get to see our family or our friends yeah, again. Exactly. So it's... Uh, we hope to like... We to, hope. <laughs> like, uh, as soon as possible, you know. Because we hope. lockdown is going to like the slowly is off. And like coronavirus is also that like viruses come to like uh, as a, not like same like before like it will be put down you know mm -hmm. I hope to like uh, uh, before one month you have to in your country <laughs> yeah I we all pray, pray to God uh, thank you yeah I think we all we are all all stranded travelers throughout the world are hoping to be able to see their yeah. their friends and family or their homes soon yeah. but yeah as I said I'm I'm grateful to be somewhere that's that's yeah. so safe and and a pleasure to be in mm. oh much uh, food relief did you provide and how many families did you help? Mm. Well, like uh, how many kg like a uh, mm -hmm. uh, like packet of rice like uh, uh, that you have to pack it like uh, uh, the oil and salt and uh, uh, lentils right mm -hmm. and then 25 kg one in the uh, rice also yeah? So what we did when we were starting to make our plans I I was talking with uh, with with Nadia Nadikari, my, my host here, yeah, yeah. and I asked, you know, how much do we eat in one month in our yeah. household? Because okay. we have a family of, of five, and mm. sometimes one uh, cousin will join us yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to know what, you know, how much do we need to eat, and, and how much does that cost, and yeah. what, what, is the, what is the minimum, at least, that people will require? And we, we discussed and we decided that what we would try to provide would be 30 kilos of rice, yeah, yeah. and three kilos of, of dal, of lentils. Yeah. We, in each packet, we, sometimes we gave two, sometimes we gave three, sometimes, I think, yeah, between two and three kilos. Like you have to like package one, like uh, there is a one uh, rice of packet mm -hmm. and 25 kg and like about like two kg of da lentil mm -hmm. and like uh, one liter of oil and yes. uh, like about two kg of salt, right? I believe we gave 30 kilos of rice oh, to each family. Kilo, okay, 30 kilo, okay. Two kilos to three kilos of dal. I think yeah. mostly we gave three kilos of yeah. dal. Yeah. Uh, and then also one kilo of salt and one yeah. kilo of like, oil. Yeah, like we have to pack one. Mm -hmm. Like how many pack that kind of you have like uh, uh, give, give to like people so to put relief. Mm. Of these packages, we were able to help. I think a total of 460, 400. or just over uh -huh. 460 families. families and each know? family might have between yeah. two to six people. Like different different area in Pokhara. Yes. Like Chore uh, mm. and like uh, Astam, and yes, and then like a. In bus park, Pokhara bus park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we helped in. Yeah, we we and did multiple deliveries. And uh, deliveries, and you have to help like gardener. We also help with the local community right local here, community. supporting ah. staff that we knew of in our own neighborhood who okay. uh, were not A able to have. Yeah, to have yeah, without jobs because of hotels closing or businesses closing. Yeah. and that's right. Then we we helped 150 families mm. in a Sukumbasi community. Yeah, yeah. We went to Astam and we helped uh, 39 low caste yeah. families who exactly, yeah. were without their own land mm. to work. Mm. And then finally, um, our largest delivery was for mm. two different communities of a yeah. total of yeah. 250 families. Yeah. We also gave donations to two um, homes for the elderly, elderly homes here Elders in Pokhara. Uh, like a Manav Seva Asram. Uh, that's right. Pokhara as a shelter. That's what right. What do you give to there to you? Like, uh, same like uh, this. Uh, uh, like rice, lentil, something or different? Mm. Yeah. Well, to these two communities, we, we spoke with them and we asked what they needed. We, yeah. we heard that they were um, 
under under supplied at the time yeah. and that they they needed some some extra so we asked what do you yeah. and in, in both cases they mostly had enough rice mm -hmm. uh, one I believe the the ashram wanted a little bit of extra rice okay. uh, they had oh no no excuse me they they wanted dal we they had plenty of rice but we gave a donation of dal and to uh, okay. okay. so them we gave quite a Mm, I, I forget the exact amount, but we gave several bags, I believe okay, each was of... Uh, okay, okay. And then uh, to the Pokhara elderly, um, or the Pokhara aged shelter, we, we gave also a mixed donation of, of rice and dal. Okay, okay, like same like packets. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And we tried also, we wanted to support them with their purchase of medical supplies, okay. which they, they also yeah. required, and so we discussed with, mm. uh, with them about what they needed, and we, we were able to offer a cash donation as well mm -hmm. to help them with purchasing their, yeah. their needed supplies. Yeah. And we were very happy to support both, and to all these communities as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, 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 are you, uh, this uh, project have to do you the food relief to like uh, this time in the Pokhara city in like uh, Nepal and you have to, uh, you, are you alone that this uh, or you have any like uh, group for this work working like this thing? Do mm. you have any group from your country or are you alone doing this? We began this alone but uh, we very quickly received a lot of support. Okay. I, I promoted this amongst social media, amongst my, my friends throughout the world and okay. so many were very quick to to rise Help to the occasion, your, your country. to help, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Many people wanted to contribute and many were very active in helping to spread ah, the message, yeah. to uh, yeah. uh, to rally more support and yeah, to yeah. bring in donations from their own social circles. It was really wonderful. Mm. My my company also gave a very generous donation and I was, I was so touched and grateful to them and to all who chose to support us. Um, oh. And it, it was it was really beautiful to see this response. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, uh, you have to like uh, when the, like uh, lockdown and like uh, uh, COVID nineteen and Corona that time problem main problem in that time you have to help like that and people need to like uh, uh, have something mm -hmm. then it like yeah and you have to uh, help to the like rice lentil and like uh, salt well right and this time in like other problems come to in our Nepal like landsliding many mm -hmm. were. You have to see from the news exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to like uh, when you go to news and they type and they see the many lens landsliding. What do you think from the your landsliding? You have to help some thing or what do you think? Mm, it's been very sad to see the news. Mm -hmm. I when I came here, I was not aware of how big of a, a problem and a challenge it can be every rainy season when yeah. when this occurs. And it's uh, it's heartbreaking to see stories of, of families, yeah. you know, and and of, of, of homes ruined, lives lost. Yeah. It's something that I think we'll discuss in the future because I know we're also watching with the situation as lockdown begins to ease. We we yeah. still want to to watch and make sure that if people need help, that we yeah. we can try to help if we can. Yeah. yeah. And uh, do you? plan to continue to like your project like uh, what you think mm. you like you, you what you like your your from your country like what did they say something to you have any problem we want to help something to what to any like have to any news mm. well i think as i yeah as as i said it's something that we want to have our eyes open for always and we want to watch and and to ah. and to be vigilant because of course if people require the assistance we yeah. we must try our best yeah, yeah. Right now, we're very happy to see that the lockdown is, is, is beginning to open up and, and people are returning to work. But we know that the problems are not yeah. finished yet. This is still, throughout the whole world, a challenge. And, yeah, uh, exactly, yeah. and, and so, yeah, we, we certainly are, are we're watching and we're waiting to make sure that yeah. everything is okay. Uh, is there uh, anything else you would like to say? Ah. <laughs> well, I, I would say again on... on I think uh, on behalf of, of us here, I would say a huge thank you to all of our all of our supporters, all who have yeah. donated to this project um, throughout the world. We've had donors from so many different countries, uh, the U.S., all throughout Europe, throughout Asia. It's been really, really remarkable to see this. Yeah. Um, and so a huge and heartfelt thank you to yeah. to all. Um, as for as for myself. Uh, I would also, I think, want to thank the Nepali people for being such wonderful yeah. and gracious hosts yeah. to myself yeah. and to all the other stranded travelers here who are also, you know, waiting and uh, in this challenge and lockdown together. Um, I think you, we've been given a wonderful temporary home here in Nepal and we're all very happy for the hospitality. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.